Hello, coders, programmers, and creators. You all have developed multiple projects and written many lines of code. You've used coding logic using variables to determine how to control flow of your code. Did you observe that many a times your variables hold only two values, one or a zero, or you are using different operators that give you a true or a false and based on that you take an action simplest example if something is touching a particular color you may or may not have realized that what you are using is concept from electronics circuit designs and computer science which is known as boolean logic so let me tell you how this branch of mathematics came around to be it was george bool a self-taught mathematician in the 1850s who began the algebra of logic or what is now called Boolean algebra. His reasoning has led to applications of things which he never probably dreamed in that early and mid 1800s. So binary mathematics is the number system most often used with computers. As a result, when engineers design circuitry for personal computers or pocket calculators, you know, mobile phones or host of other electronic products, they apply the principles of Boolean algebra. You can take a paper and pen and try to list down the things that you use every day, which have two values. The switches to turn on and off the lights. So we are talking about all this today because we want you to take today's challenge to create a Boolean logic quiz. Now Hanu is helping with ice cream orders for the and her friends. He has written down the order, placed the order and now is receiving it back. And as we know, we need help to distribute to the right people. It can get extremely confusing. So we are going to click on this button to see what has been ordered you know, the next order coming up. So it is a chocolate ice cream with nuts. So if we go through the list, we know it belongs to Ace. And that is what we show up here. How do we determine it? We will look at an example code. But this is the main logic. This is the main coding which you are going to be to doing today for this challenge. So when we click on this, we see the next order. So this is mango with sprinkles. So we go here and we see where is mango with sprinkles. So we can see Nana wants chocolate or mango with sprinkles and Kumar also wants chocolate or mango with sprinkles. So we can go with either and here we picked up Kumar. So this way we have to continue till the order is completely fulfilled. Now remember as always there are certain things we give you as part of the challenge so that as part of a quick one day challenge, it is easy for you to work with it. But we leave a lot of room for you to be creative, to create your own project, your unique one. So please do that. So what are the elements we have in this project? We have our robo who has taken the order and created a list. And that's what we have done. We have created an ice cream order and added to this list. Now, please create this list based on your friends and your flavors. And then we have Mr. Bool helping Hanu with the logic to deliver the order. This is the main code which you are going to be working with. If you look at it, you have been using a lot of operators. So basically all the binary operators which result in a true or false. Now if you look at the operators, they all have this angular shape. So whether it is checking if a number is less than or greater than something or if it is checking if certain condition and certain other condition is true or if certain condition or some certain condition is true. That means either of it. This is both the conditions should be true for this entire value to be true. In this, either side can be true. Not is whatever you write here, you reverse it. That should be true. So these are certain operators. And then, of course, the sensing ones, which you have been using a lot. 
So if it is touching, if it is touching color, if any of these keys are pressed, so all these are your Boolean operators provided as part of Scratch and they do fit into a whole lot of this. So you put it here, they always fit on the left. Sometimes you need to use multiple operators so they fit like you see here. If you create an expression, it can completely fit into the left of the AND block. Something or something and something or something. Uh, if you look at the code of uh, flavors, the code itself doesn't need to change much because what it is doing, it's just showing the right costume. Same thing with the sauce and toppings. Now all what you can definitely want to do is add the different flavors as you want them. Add the different kind of sauces which you and your friends have. Add different kind of toppings. Now the two main pieces of code which are going to work, you are going to work with is writing the code for order ready on this button. This is the first thing you will do. So click to see order ready. So here you have to generate different orders. So you can do that by hard coding the order to start with and then you use a loop, use random and generate random orders. I want you to see using a loop to generate as many orders at least as there are number of orders in the list. And after it has generated the order, it broadcasts, it basically asks whom to deliver. And Mr. Bool is going to receive whom to deliver and is going to check the, what is the flavor, what is the toppings and what is the sauce type. Based on that, it is going to decide who is going to this kid name and it is using variable kid name to set the name of the kid, which we will show here. So the order number and whom it is to be delivered will be shown here. To quickly summarize what you have to do in this challenge is first you have to generate your list of order for the ice creams. Then on the button click of order ready, you have to say that what is the order which is coming up now. And remember to simulate like you are an ice cream shop and there are many people and orders can be coming in different combinations. It, it will not always be your order. So you can put in something which is does not belong to your set of friends at all. And the next piece you have to code is Mr. Bool's code. When I receive whom to order, deliver, you will say all this. And if it does not match for anyone, it should say the order is for someone outside this group. So go ahead, enjoy playing Mr. Bool today. As, as you continue learning, uh, you will figure out that this kind of logical expressions are so handful in everything electronic. Happy learning. Ta-da!